Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. In this video, pag-uusapan natin ang transpose of a matrix. Without further ado, let's get this lesson started. Pag, sin pag sinabi natin transpose of a matrix, yun yung A raised to the T. Ang ibig sabihin nun, isusulat lang natin yung columns ng A as rows. Tapos, in order dapat. Pagpapalitin mo yung subscript. No, ibig sabihin, yung A sub 1, 1, first row, second column, magiging A sub 2, 1, second row, first column. Para mas maintindihan, hanapin natin ang transpose ng E. Recall that the transpose of E is written as E sub T. So, itong 10, dahil ito ay E sub 1, 1, magiging E sub 1, 1 pa rin siya. So, this is 10. Tapos, itong 6, this is E sub 2, 1. Pagpapalitin mo lang, magiging E sub 1, 2. Or in other words, magiging first row, second column. This will be 6. At tapos, itong 27, ilalagay lang natin dito. So, kung mapapansin nyo, yung transpose ng isang column matrix ay row matrix. Basically, yung uh, nasa row, nililista lang natin as column. Or yung nasa column, nililista lang natin as row. For this, we have F raised to T. Dahil ito ay 2 by 3 column, we expect that this F to the T or the transpose of F is a 3 by 2 matrix. So... Tatlo dapat yung kanyang row tapos dalawa ang column. So, ito mo ng 10, 11, 12. It's 10, 11, 12 pa rin, pero written as the first column. Ito ay first row ng F tapos first column ng transpose niya. etong second row ng F ay magiging second column ng kanyang transpose. So, ganyan lang tayo magsulat ng transpose of a matrix. Basically, pinagpapalit lang talaga natin yung rows niya into columns. Tapos dapat, in order pa rin yung pagkakasulat ng kanyang mga elements. Thank you for watching! If you learned from this video, please give it a huge thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and hit that bell icon. See you on our next video!